What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How we doing today in the chat? How we doing today? I would never thought I would actually make a Call of Duty commentary video for the first time. But I really want to talk about this because I'm so excited. Today, right here, I have for you is Warzone Mobile. And this game has been brought to you by my new phone that I bought recently. I wanted to upgrade my Google Pixel 7, as you can see here. This thing does not game well with demanding games. And when I wanted to upgrade, I could have bought an iPhone. I could have bought like an iPhone 12 or iPhone 13 or iPhone SE. Something like affordable but still performs great to this very day. However, I got tired of just buying the same thing over and over again. So I thought to myself, what is a phone that I have been excited for for the past few years? And whenever I go to Best Buy to look at this phone... I was always in love with the device and I wanted to buy so badly. So I thought of the the uh, Samsung Fold 4, the Z Fold 4, not the 5. I've heard a lot of great things about the 4. And that was the, fo the, the Fold that I actually was seeing at Best Buy at the time. And boy, I gotta say, it was one of the best investments in my entire life for a new phone. Now... This phone came in at, you know, late 2022. This phone came around 2022 or 2023, I can't remember. But I gotta say, this was worth it. Being able to turn your phone into a tablet, it's awesome, dude. Like, unfold the screen, you get a different wallpaper, the experience is much more immersive, and the fact that you can actually use multiple, like, up to three or four apps at a time. I was able to play Genshin Impact, for example, with YouTube or Twitch running in the background, you know, on the top just watching and, you know, being entertained. Or I pull up a web browser and browse and then, you know, watch anime or whatever on that, which is really awesome. But... That's not what we are talking about today. We are talking about Warzone. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have been hearing about how bad Warzone is just poorly optimized on mobile. Remember when this game has been, you know, available to pre-register for like over a year or two or something? This game was very hyped because, you know, it was coming to mobile for the first time. We have never had like a high graphic... Uh, Call of Duty, like an official Call of Duty game on mobile ever until recently, this year, in 2024. We have Call of Duty Mobile, which is the most popular, uh, you know, shooter on mobile in general, but it, it's not exactly like the console version or the PC version. Now, that out of the way, I want to give my thoughts about this game because even though other people have been having problems with you know graphical glitches or stuttering or the phone's not optimized right for their phone so it crashes or doesn't even start and then there's hackers which is obvious like name a game that doesn't have hackers that is multiplayer you know it's common you're gonna get it but I know for a fact that Call of Duty is one of the biggest ones for hackers uh, compared to others. But so far from my experience. Now I haven't played the Battle Royale yet. I've been playing mainly Mosh Pit and the 24-7 Rust mode. I gotta say. I love this game so much. And that's coming from somebody that hasn't really had any fun with the new Call of Duties lately. Or just like never even bothered getting the new ones. Because it's just the same thing every single year. Just a new skin. It's the same game style, just new skin. And that was like the same thing with the older CODs too, but, you know, I preferred Call of Duty's in the past because it was just more simple. It was more simple at the time. No double sprint, um, no, like, insane gun recoil shaking that, you know, distracts your, you know, vision or whatnot. None of this crazy BS. Um, 
but getting the feel of the game, you know, as somebody that played Call of Duty 2019, the Modern Warfare from 2019, you know, this felt really nice to come back to and all that without having to break the bank, you know, spending $70 for the same video game every year, which gets annoying, and I'm only going to be playing, like, multiplayer, and I don't, I don't even play much Battle Royale, but, or, like, zombies, but I love this game, and I love this device.